Hi, yo then guys and welcome back to another video now today we are here for the final episode of tell me why now although i said that i was going to do this all in one go i've decided that i'm not going to do it all in one go because and i have good reasoning this time not just because i'm tired which you can probably tell i am a little bit it's currently quarter past eight in the morning and i didn't go to bed till 2am this morning. Anyway, okay, I've just had three days of work. I'm a bit tired. That's not the reason. The reason is because two hour long episodes are probably a little bit too long for some people to want to watch. So I realized if I do them all in one hour, um, then it might be a little bit better for you guys to watch. So yeah, let's just jump straight into this. Last episode, I believe. I don't think, I think there's only three. Well, there's only three in this game file. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, this is very crafty quiet, goblins right? faced the truth yeah. about the darkness in the big wooden house. Okay. Yeah, so she's just walked off, Alison. It had come for the wise princess, driving her mad and causing her to attack them. When they started asking questions about the princess in the darkness, the goblins realized that no one else in the forest wanted to know the truth. So they dug and searched and asked hurtful questions, learning more about the wise princess than they had ever hoped to. But the search took its toll. The darkness was proving too much for Sister Goblin, and yet Brother Goblin kept diving deeper and deeper until Sister Goblin finally said, Enough. Yeah. And that was how the goblins found themselves separated again. Hurt and oh confused. wow, that's the With so Is that the mad hunter? I don't know. <laughs> and too many open wounds. Right, so at the moment they're on their own. Got ya. Why does every episode start with like Oh, what? Oh, I didn't like that. So she's having a nightmare. Oh, no, that's fucked. What? She's having a nightmare. Okay. That is fucked. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to do this. Can I just like pass? You killed me. What? Oh, I really don't like this. Killed your mother, you killed me. You'll end up like me. What the fuck? Oh, I really don't like this. What the fuck? Why is there stuff in the air? Is something being burned again? Oh, fuck off, man. What the fuck? Okay, still a dream then. Unless that's just casually the outside of their home. 
Well, it is, but obviously you don't just open a door upstairs to go out there. Don't be a jump scare. It's going to be a jump scare. Who the fuck is that? Oh my god. Sorry, what? Oh, that is fuck. You killed me! What? You killed... Well, apart from the fact that you didn't. Because you'd be still alive. What? I'm really confused. Imagine to have, or well, some of people watching this might have them, but like, I can't imagine having those every night. You'd be so scared to go to sleep. Dear me. Ah, oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Now, nah, bro, knock. Don't just walk in. Don't be that guy. Oh. Bro, they want breakfast. Oh, they're just putting a note under the door. What? Yeah. Throwing out. Oh. Now you might want to breathe there. Okay. She's still alive, so I guess she did. <laughs> Whoa, what are you up to? No guy there? Okay, cool. Just wanted to double check. Yeah, Alison, breathe. Wait, how the fuck are you opening your eyes like that? Nope. People that can open their eyes underwater? That's fucked. Um. I heavily don't think you should be doing that. The fuck? Sorry, did you just wear socks to bed? Oh, you are... Oh, you are fucked. Okay. Morning. I started collecting the documents you need for your rental application. Left the file for you downstairs on the kitchen counter. If you're still coming to meet Dee for lunch, you can drop off the documents and I'll make some copies for you. Take it easy today, Uncle Eddie. P.S. My famous buck up buck wheat waffles are slowly growing cold in the kitchen. He's right. Time to get my shit together. Hey, don't be too harsh on yourself, Alison. Let's go. What the... Oh, seriously? I should probably eat something. God, I feel so yeah, weak. Yeah, let's eat. Right, kitchen's here. I need to get all that paperwork together. No. Maybe that'll help me focus. You eat I can't first. Really eat anything Are you right fucking now. kidding me? You just said you really need to eat. Eat, goddammit. Here's the file. Just need my ID and pay stubs. Okay. We were family, Allison. How could you do this to me? Oh, what the fuck? Fuck. Bro, you need to I eat. think about something else. Focus. ID and pay stubs. I don't know where they are. Okay, whatever. ID and pay stubs. I don't know what pay stubs are. Are they like pay slips? Right, ID's probably in your room. 
That's so fucked. I told him I wanted to stop messing with those memories, but he wouldn't listen. <laughs> what the fuck? Brother, sister, we look out for each other. That's what you said. But you don't mean what you say, oh, do you? Oh, shit. They're just words. You left me, Allison, all alone and scared. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I know. I can't deal with this right now. This isn't real. He isn't real. Well, I mean, you know he is real. What are those? Okay. Fam, where are your pay stubs? Seriously? Not here. The fact that she's saying not here is a good sign. Yeah, there might there might be something in there. Here they there you are. go. Pay slips. Just your ID now. No, those are pictures. Where else can I look? Wish I could just book a one way ticket to the other side of the world. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't be asked to read. Those are just coffee time vouchers. No ID. I mean, surely you keep your ID in your room, right? Now would be a good time to stop smoking. Yeah. Maybe do a detox for 12. Yeah, maybe today would be a good time to stop smoking. Um, yeah, surely you keep your ID in your room, right? I don't know, maybe you don't. Who am I to judge? You know? He doesn't like this kind of attention, but he really does so mm. much for the community. Can I eat yet? Seriously. Let me eat. Surely my ID isn't in a drawer down here. This makes no goddamn sense. Is that your ID? Uh, Seriously? Okay, ID. sure. No, 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 no! Open. Take. Oh, what's the fuck? This place is never much more than a bachelor pad, huh? There was so much I planned to do. All those sacrifices I made. And how do you repay me? Lying to my face. You're not my child. Oh shit. My clan deserves better. Oh fuck. Stop listening to it. Stop listening to this him. Never happened. I know, Allison. Stop it's listening to him. Brain vomit. Exactly. It's fucking bullshit. Eddie loves you. Even though, yes, you did lie to him. Where's that coming from? I don't know. Uh, oh, for fuck's please. sake. Come on, Allison. Don't start. Phone should be somewhere nearby. Phone? Mm. The ringing seems to be coming from downstairs. What? Oh, I don't like this. Oh. I don't think there's any reason my phone would have ended up here. Okay. So it's downstairs though, yeah. Stop sulking. Shut the fuck up. It's nothing. This is nothing. Is 
She said downstairs. Fucking cameras run out. Am I being an idiot or did she say it's downstairs? Which is definitely not. Where's that coming from? There you go. Where did I leave my phone last night? Where the fuck is that? Is that outside? Wait, I still need my phone. Fam, that sounds like it's coming from outside, though. The fuck is this? Why are you looking at it like this? Oh. Got ya. You know nothing good's gonna come of this. My dove. Only thieves and monsters hide in the dark. Fly back to the light, Allison. What the fuck? What the Yeah. deal with you right now. Why the fuck is it in there? God, where is it? Fam. Not here. Oh, she did say downstairs, to be fair. No, I've already looked at that. Oh. Not here. It's under there. What's it doing here? Grab it then, dickhead. Hey, D. Finally. I was starting to get worried. Why didn't you pick up? Yeah, uh, sorry. I, uh, I didn't have my phone on me. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure we were still on for lunch. Uh, yeah, of course. I'm... Getting ready right now. That's so? Because it kind of sounds like I woke you up. That's just how I sound. But anyways, I still have a few things to do before I can leave, but I'll be there. All right, hon. See you soon. <sighs> Put it together, Allison. You got this. Grab the file, get dressed, and head out. Or it'd be nice to make a gift for Dee. God, my hands are still shaking. Why is the doorbell going now? Is that just going to be another memory? Oh no. Morning. Hey, Allie. Hey. Hi, guys. What are you doing here? Tessa and I were worried after you called in sick last night. She's busy at the cafe, but she sent over some coconut cake. Since you won't be making it in for lunch. That's nice, Tom. Thanks. I'm going to head on inside. Freezing my butt off out here. Okay. Uh, thanks. Is Tyler not around today? Huh. No. He's, uh, busy. Out at the old house. I see. It must be hard to sell the place you grew up in. Yeah. Harder, so harder for right? others, oh, right? It's okay. We'll hmm. get over it. I really hope so. So, Tessa told me a little bit about what happened at the cemetery. Yeah, I'm sorry it got so intense. It's just, we really needed to understand why Marianne did what she did. Especially Tyler. Oh, oh boy. Of course, of course. She get that. Especially Tyler. Oh, he boy. He too didn't say anything she wasn't already thinking. She spent years blaming herself. Well, she wasn't the only one involved. Yeah. There was a lot of blame to go around. Yeah. 
I'm glad you're able to see that. It seems like your brother, well, he, he's not nearly so forgiving, is he? He has been pretty harsh, especially on Eddie. It, we both got tired of people lying to us for our own Sorry, good. Sorry, harsh. Yes, of course. I fucking totally forgave him. Though. Literally, these I choices in this game make no sense. All the repercussions. I heard about the fight with your uncle. Confuses the fuck out of me. brother appreciates your sacrifices. What do you mean, the fight? There wasn't even a fight. He does. What was the fight? I forgave him. And none of my choices making a difference here. And none of my choices being remembered here. I'll let you rest. I'm baffed. I'm so baffed. Okay. Thanks for stopping by, Tom. Bye now. Take care. Sorry for abandoning you out there. Pro tip, avoid catching a ride with Tom at all costs. Did he talk about the new spicy chocolate bars? Yep. You know you're exactly meant to be going out, right? Digestion. What's up with him? I'm not sure I've ever seen him so eager to help. I think he and Tess are legitimately concerned. Plus, the uh, door-to-door -door is part of campaigning, right? Yeah, I guess. Fam, don't know. No, what are you doing? You're meant to be going out, you muppet. I'm glad you're here, Michael. Thanks for coming. Coffee and a friendly face is just what the doctor ordered, right? I just feel like cuddling up in front of the TV all day. Maybe Whoa, finally chill. binge that last season of Witches of Elven. Oh, chill. Then do it. Uh, I gotta drag my lazy ass out to have lunch with Dee. I, uh... I've been kind of freaking out on repeat today. What do you mean? It's hard to describe, but I just can't calm down. You ever try any of that affirmation type shit? Look, when things get dark, I tell myself that whatever I'm going through will pass. Yeah. That I'm a great person and my Aww. feelings are valid. Yes, they are, Michael. This will pass. I'm a great person. My feelings are valid. We'll work on it, but it's that's a good, a good yeah. start. Do you want to talk about what happened with Tessa at the cemetery? Uh. We just asked her some questions. What kind of questions? Tough ones. Let me guess, she did not appreciate that. Not really, no. But she deserved it. Hey, what's eating at you, Allie? Tyler and I had a fight last night. I was so excited to have him back, but what if 10 years was too much and we're too different? Damn. I don't think so. Neither. You just need to get to know each other again. Yeah. Start with the small shit. Figure out what each other's favorite foods are, you know? And then build up to the big stuff. Yeah, that, that makes sense. The last few days have been a lot. It's of course. totally okay to be overwhelmed. You're gonna figure it all out. Families are fucked up. <laughs> They're basically fuck up factories. Yeah. You're right. Yes, they are. I just need to relax. <laughs> Dear me. So, maybe this will cheer you up. Okay. I think I found the perfect place. Check it out. It's pretty cool, right? That's it's really a helped high, him. But it's got two large Sorry, Hester. And a view of the channel. Oh, shit. You're really going to give up our home to live in this ugly box? <laughs> oh, God. Allison? Allison, look at me. You okay? I'm just... Um, I need to... I, I just need to sit down. Yeah, cancel lunch with D. Cancel lunch with D. What's going on? What's the worst that can happen? Right? God, everything. My anxiety is through the roof. I can't eat anything without getting sick. And then I've been seeing things. 
memories of Mary Ann and me and Tyler when we were kids and, and Eddie and it used to just be stuff I'm pretty sure really happened but now I see them everywhere shouting every shitty thought I've ever had about myself I don't know how much more of it I can take. <sighs> That's Aww. intense. I'm sorry, has... <laughs> Anything like this happened to you before? Right after Marianne died, I had a lot of panic attacks, but... Poor Anderson. Nothing exactly like this. Here, Allie. Aww. I hear you. Okay? I hear you. Aww. Right. You must think I'm completely nuts. Cancel your lunch? No. I think you went through some really bad shit. You never saw anyone about it, right? Yeah, I, I've looked into therapists a few times, but... They're all so far away and so expensive. Well, you know what I went through in 2011. I don't know if I'd still be here if I hadn't gotten help. You got that money coming in from the house. For our apartment in Juneau, I don't want to bail on you. Look, I know you hate letting people down, but you gotta put your own oxygen mask on first. Damn. I get that. And so does Tyler. Thanks. I'll try. <sighs> I really need to work on the house today, but Tyler's crashing out there. I'm not sure if I'm ready to face him. If you want, I could go out there, see how he's feeling, and if he's ready to talk. What do you think? Yeah, because you two are close. <clears throat> yeah, maybe that could work. <clears throat> I hope he'll talk to you, though. He's never been the best at opening up to new people. You sure? Yeah, of course. I don't mind trying if it might patch things up between you two. Ah, uh, you are the guy, Michael. Oh, shit. I'm going to be late for my <clears throat> That's what I say. Here. Are you going? I still need to change and stuff, but I can drop you off at the store if you want. Sure. Thanks. No, Michael, thank you for listening. Yeah. I mean it. You're a good man, Michael. I've always known that, but he's a good man. Good old Michelangelo. I don't know where the fuck that came from. <laughs> Deary me. This is what happens when I'm on like five hours sleep. I'm on five hours sleep every day. I don't know what I'm trying. Thank fuck they don't make me go and look for clothes and stuff. It's the last thing I could be doing with. Why is no one in? Oh, there they are. Hey. Heidi. Hey, beautiful. Oh, okay? Wilson. Right, girl, that's D. You look like shit. Wow. God, I haven't been sleeping. Thanks. Thanks, D. So much I love you, right? Oh. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Dickhead. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. The fuck Mrs. is Romero cobbler? Mrs. sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. You better hurry before Greg's kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> what's, I'll meet what's you in there when I'm done cobbler? with Cobbler? I mean, you've just said that you need to drop some stuff off with Eddie, Try so... Where's... Sounds like Eddie's busy. Uncle's in there. Oh. <laughs> He's really letting that guy have it. Where's the break room? Down there. Morning. Hello, Miss Ronan. Ooh. These look like wild berries. 
Mrs. Romero must have frozen them over the summer. Oh yes, she takes her cooking seriously. No, we know. Very seriously. Hey, Brad. Hey, Gregs. Hey, Allison. What How you doing, bakery? Today? Just needed to drop off some paperwork. <laughs> Still the Eddie. same dead joke. The chief's busy right now. <laughs> you could leave him in his mail slot. Ah, where's his mail slot? Mail. What do you reckon? Hey, Gregs. <laughs> Going around in circles? Yeah. Nothing really. Just waiting for D. Didn't pull up a chair. Also, trying to find your your mail slot. Where's the fuck is your mail slot, lads? What are you working on? Chief pulled over a truck for speeding this morning and found some illegal game in the back. Oh damn! The ticket. <laughs> they never learn. What is Greg's up to with the security cameras? Uh, he's finally getting around to doing the upstairs cameras. Oh. He was supposed to do it months ago. Mail slots. Mail no. We uh, have new rules about civilians hanging around certain parts of the station. Yeah, no worries, my bad. Reception booth is out of bounds. Sorry. That's cool. Where is this mail? Like, where can I put his mail? I'm really sorry. I don't care. Like, all I'm trying to find is where I can put someone's mail. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, Allie, but I really need to finish this before I can break. It's cool. No worries. I'm not in a rush. By the way, we need to eat at the diner. I kind of called in sick, so Tessa's is out. <laughs> Where is the... For fuck's sake, yo. <clears throat> but she said don't hang out upstairs too long, so I... Surely it can't be upstairs. Right, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Upstairs it is. Oh, this literally, yeah, it's right there. Hey, drop. I really can't go until I drop my... I should probably drop the paperwork yeah. here. Eddie's going to be busy for a while. Yeah. Let's go. I wonder how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. You good yet? No? Okay. I'm coming in with Greg's. Can I sit? No? Take. Oh, hell yeah, boy. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, uh, boy. Pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Eat. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Eating yet, boy. Need to start being a little Girl. careful, though. Shit. Doctor's orders. Brenda may be in for it, too. God, that kid can eat. Linda's pretty concerned, but... You are not kidding about the cobbler. This may be her best batch ever. Right? Okay, well, continue eating it then, you idiot. What you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike? And the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. Hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on! It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Hey, Gregs. Oh, he's been doing so, a little bit of eavesdropping. The criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. Nothing too serious, which is fine by me. Boring is good. <laughs> wow. Like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's like actual things to do there. <laughs> Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. Boy. People coming in all the time from. God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. What are you having? 
trout pie and uh, black radish. Lovely. I'm on a diet. All right. A cobbler diet? Hey, mm. shh, shh, shh. I won't tell if you won't. Fuck's sake. Hey, Gregs. Vacation plans? Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. Good That's lads. really cool. I'd love to go there someday. It's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. Yeah. You're a good bud. Hi, Leif. Hey, Gregs. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Can... <sighs> oh, okay. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No All worries. Right. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? An animal. Hmm. An animal? Like a raccoon, maybe? Have you been eavesdropping in on official police? Oh, business? shit. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a raccoon. That was pretty Dello's obvious. Delos Crossing, most wanted, turned out to be some trash band of stowaway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you've just wasted yours and my cool. time. Fantastic, D. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. <laughs> Thanks. Well, we need to try again soon. I feel so bad about missing your birthday. I thought about making you something, but I was a little oh. strapped for oh, time. Oh, don't feel bad, Ali. No, don't I feel it. bad. Don't feel bad know. for this little fucker. No, no, she it, rang not... five times, D. You rang me five times to check that I was still coming. I rushed my fucking ass off to get to that police station on time for you, bitch. I fucking, oh boy, I had fucking anxiety to attack. I had fucking thoughts going around my head. I had to sit down because I was scared and I still made it to that police station on time. You said, wait, five minutes. I waited five minutes for you. You then said, oh, it was an animal. So basically, I wasted my time and yours. And now, you're not coming for lunch. You see why this is a problem, D? Relax, <sighs> I'm just kidding. What? I really gotta go now. Oh. Fucking twat. <laughs> right, I'll call you later. Yeah, and you know what? Some sleep, all right? I yeah. won't be answering DD. <laughs> Can I get up now, please? Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? Yeah. Uh -huh. no. Didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? What did he do yesterday? What do you mean? Well, you know, how he went and broke into the archive room then oh, he much assaulted your uncle. Look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, the sweet, smart girl who never hurt anyone on purpose. And I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. Sorry, no, sorry. Am I... Are my actions literally taking no account? After I assaulted him, I didn't fucking assault him. I literally have video evidence. I didn't assault him. I... What? He grabbed me, forced me out of the archive room, which is fine. And then I said, you know what? Let's talk about it. I didn't fucking assault him. We did what we had to, My God. to get what we needed. Are these just not doing right. anything? These I just want you to be careful. These choices. I've been doing this for a long time. And people they mostly don't change. Even when we really want them to. 
Look, I'm really yeah. tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were Oh, kid. no. You're honest. Stay um, whoa. You're not a trouble maker. Chill, 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 oh. champ. And chill, then. champ. I can't do this. Oh, you okay? Please just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Chill, champ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Be asleep. I can't breathe. Please stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. okay. I've been here before. Chill. That's it. Just breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> What am I meant to do here? Time your hold and release to help. I don't know what I'm doing. Fam. I just need to breathe in. Okay. And out. Follow the circles. This is not working. Just a little longer. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fam, what do I do? My heart. I don't get what I'm... I don't get what I'm meant to do. I really don't get this. This makes no fucking sense. What the fuck do you mean, time your hold? I think it's from the inside. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Wait, am I still breathing? Yes. I'm still breathing. I keep going. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Right. This is really helpful. This is... Right, go. can I just say that's the most fucking unintuitive fucking piece of shit I've ever seen. What's happening? Do so better, game. Else. Do better. That was fucking shite. And maybe... Maybe we should tell them the truth. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe. But... What if we get in trouble and then we both get Time sent away? Hey, Chief Brown. Can you give me Wait. another go? I, uh, Actually give me a tutorial this time, maybe? The fuck was that? They wouldn't let me take anything else. I'm, I'm sorry. Sam, please tell them to let us stay together. Please. Oh gosh. Please. I, I don't have that kind of power. Sam. Oh, kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, it makes no fucking difference anyway. Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. Then we can talk about what happened.
He's a good guy. Although my fucking my choices literally make no difference. This morning has just been so. God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Oh shit! Did Tyler say something to make no. you feel that way? No. It wasn't him. It was me. Don't get I shitty with him. him. Over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Whoa, don't be a dick. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back. He's trying to help you out. Move. Don't be a dick. You know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't oh, you. yeah. Oh, yeah. I just wish I could forget about it all. Never think about it again, ever. I understand. Yeah, Trust you me. do I love do. him. But there are ways to make peace with it. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. Mm. Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? Yeah. You're not I your mean, mother. Something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but it never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You've got to tell those ghosts to move on. Whoa! Oh boy! Do I do it? There's just not much point. Like, he's done what he's had to do. Tyler's done his time. He keeps telling me that There's no too. point. So you two agree on something? Yeah. Finally. Although I'm really confused because they agreed on it's something so that last can. episode. Maybe. Why are you not remembering these things? It's time I finally talk mm -mm. to somebody about it. It's on me that you haven't already. I was raised pretty skeptical of all that. But there's no shame in getting help. No, there's not. Please. Just do what you need to, okay? I'll support you in any way I can. Good stuff. Love that. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? Exhausted. Yeah, I can imagine. But not like I'm about to have a heart attack, so that's an improvement. Yeah, that's always good. That's a good start. Uh, I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for fireweed. Uh. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. I remember he brought us our goblin figurines. And we had a big group hug. Yeah. He borrowed the house keys so he can go out and get them. He was over at our house a lot. Fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was. But did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility. But I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. That's all right. Yeah. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me, too. Aww. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Aww. Good stuff. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, we'll go to um, Sam, and then we'll end the episode there.
So we're about 55, 54 minutes in. You got this, Alison. You have got this. One more again. Out of order, go around. Right, okay. Good. He's here. Nice. You cold? Yeah. Khan, you got this. Let's psych yourself up. Sound Billy fine. Bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. <sighs> I can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to. Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Why? Yeah. All right, uh, here she is. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button-up. That's a nice memory. Yeah. Keep going, Allison. Are you gonna be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh... Never mind. No, talk! Uh, where's your brother? We... had a fight. <laughs> Bit of sibling rivalry, huh? Mm. You should have seen me and my little Bit brother. Bit more than that. Right up... Right up till the end. Oh. So... Um, what are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? Bitch, just fucking talk to him. <clears throat> Come on. Are you going to be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh, never mind. Why can't you say see, it? Uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, the whole life, uh, lives been there. No shame. Still can't do anything. Are you gonna be like? Right, great. I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I uh, never mind. I really don't know what I need to do. Wait for Sam to be available. Right, okay. <sighs> right, okay. In that case, then we're going to end the episode here. Because there's no point in just waiting around. Um, yeah. Interesting. Um, let me put my hood back up because my hair's a mess. Um, I'm gonna, oh, dearie me. Yeah, interesting. So she's now having all these, um, thoughts inside her head and picture, like, images around her. That's really creepy. The beginning of the episode, I was like, oh, <clears throat> this is gonna be an episode full of jump scares. Luckily, it hasn't been. But, um, 
yeah, there's a lot of images, there's a lot of panic attacks, there's a lot of a lot of different stuff going on. Them two still haven't seen each other an hour into the episode. There's only an hour left. So I'm worried that we're going to go see Sam, um, um, Tyler, and Tyler's going to be dead. That's what I'm worrying. I really hope that's not true, but I mean, we've only got like an hour to go, so it's a bit worrying. But anyway, then, guys, this is where we're going to end this video. If you did enjoy it, then please smash the like button, comment all this down below, subscribe, share the video around. I'd love to get a little community. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.